Next, we're going to talk about the curettage procedure. This is a procedure that's performed typically for very superficial lesions, either hyperkeratotic lesions or lesions that simply look like they could be scraped off of the skin surface. These lesions could include uh, verruca vulgaris, even squamous cell carcinoma, as well as some hyperkeratotic dermatitides. Now with this procedure, because it is not quite as invasive, um, many times you don't need anesthesia to perform this as far as patient comfort because we're not penetrating the epidermis if done appropriately. However, in many cases, you do want to use a little anesthesia just to take the edge off in case the patient feels something or if you go a little too deep and the patient uh, may become uncomfortable. First thing we want to do is clean the epidermal surface with an alcohol wipe, keeping in mind that this is a clean procedure, not a sterile procedure. So we clean the surface with an alcohol wipe We then anesthetize. While that anesthesia is taking hold, we basically just wait. This is the curette instrument, and you'll notice that one edge is a textured edge. We want to hold this instrument like a pencil, putting our finger, our index finger, on that textured surface. What this does is it orients the blade in the appropriate orientation for taking the sample. The undersurface of this loop is actually sharpened. It is a sharpened blade. So that is the orientation for taking the sample. Now, to do the procedure, what we want to do is we want to scrape towards ourselves uh, several times. You do have to apply some pressure to take a sample. However, applying too much pressure will drive the blade further into the dermis, which is more than what we want for this procedure. So if we simply apply light pressure, we can remove the superficial layers, take our formalin vial and simply rinse the specimen into the formalin vial. Once that's performed, you can see our specimen within the container. It's ready to go to the laboratory. Now the pros of this procedure are that anesthesia is may or may not be required. It's minimally invasive. However, it does have limitations on diagnosis. In cases of dermatitides, it can certainly identify whether fungal elements are there. However, because the dermis is not present, you won't be able to tell a whole lot more about any kind of inflammatory process that's occurring. And also, with neoplastic lesions, this may give us an idea of whether it's a squamous cell carcinoma or a verruca, but if it's a squamous cell carcinoma, we may be limited in what we can tell you as far as an invasive component because clearly this is not going to keep orientation of what it is in the body.